Hey guys, welcome to my Trap Racer RS6 review. Today we will be reviewing the Trap Racer RS6. Uh, I have got the monitor stand as well, but we'll be reviewing that in a future video. So we're just going to go over the points, uh, the good points, some of the not so good points, and basically just share my thoughts with you guys on what I think about the simulator. I have had it for about a month to two months now, uh, with I would say roughly between 8 and 10 hours worth of use a day. Uh, so, you know, I've definitely got over 200 hours in this now, which is a lot more than most people would use it on weekends and things like that. So I think I'm in a very good position to show the good points and, and the not so good points. I uh, have to say straight out the bat, there's not an awful lot I can say negative about the simulator, which we're going to go into detail. We're going to walk around the simulator I'm going to show you some of the really good points I love about it uh, and some of the little things that I think would be good if it was changed uh, but straight out the door I've got to say to you guys that it is going to be more of a positive review because it just is so good I've not had any problems uh, so we're going to go and take a look around the simulator right guys so we're just going to have a bit of a walk around the simulator so as you can see here, this is the uh, seat, so it's got a full seat slider on it, uh, which I'll show you the slider working in just a little bit. The main thing I wanted to show you here was it's fully tilt adjustable, so you've got the four lugs here and you've got three lugs at the back, so you can adjust them and adjust some screws, as you can see, so you can just turn them and then tighten them back up. You've got an absolutely stunning track racer logo. I like my rally cars and I love stickers and I think this is a great thing. So, on the actual front of the, the rig, which is round here, as you can see here, I apologise for the cables, uh, I am changing the rig later on, so I haven't done full cable management. So here, here you've got a port here to put your cables in, uh, a couple of my cables won't fit because they're the plugs, uh, you see, you're never going to get a plug down there, but I think it's a really, really good thought from Track Racer. So I like that. Uh, moving down onto the pedal deck. So as you can see here, the pedal deck is fully adjustable. Again, so you've got eight slots here and the whole thing tilts and goes down. Uh, and then it's got a full slider on the back of it. So you undo four bolts and the whole pedals will slide forward and backwards, which I think is fantastic. So on the actual wheel front, which is here. So I've actually got a different wheel deck on uh, purely because I had a slight problem with the wheel deck unfortunately. After time it would slowly lower but uh, I contacted Track Racer and they told me that it was uh, unfortunately the bolts that they'd used were slightly too long so they sent me out some new bolts and, uh, and I just haven't had time to swap them over and try them but they ensured me that it's fixed the problem and you know everything's okay so I've just left this one on for now uh, it, it works I've got no problems uh, it's oh, two seconds. so it is fully tilt adjustable so you've got this bolt here which you can tilt up and down and you've got the back one which you can tilt up and down so you can literally put the wheel deck in any way you want and I mean it's solid I mean it just doesn't move as you can see so that's fantastic another huge positive for me as you can see is here you've got the one post i love that i thought the rig was going to be a bit <laughs> i thought it was going to move a little bit but this thing is absolutely solid it really really is so that point of it i can't fault uh you know it's just fantastic so we're going to take a look at the seat now so looking at the seat, uh, you've got a full pad here which you can remove and you can see how thick it is. I haven't, I did read some reviews on the older track racer and on the previous simulator and there were some complaints on the seat. I cannot fault this one. Again, pretty much 8 hours a day. I, uh, I do in, in this simulator, uh, I do recordings and so, so, so forth, so I spend a lot of time in here, cannot fault it. A bit like a good office chair, you need a good chair, 
and this has been fantastic. Another big plus for me, which I didn't think would be good, was these here, which are lumbar supports. They are Velcro, I like a sponge, so, and they are, as you can see, they are very, very good. I really like them. Normally a lumbar goes across the back and it digs into my back, but these hug your sides really good. So I would say possibly if you're a wider set person than myself, you would maybe need to take these out, but I don't think that's a problem. Another good thing on, I do have pets, <laughs> so pet hair can be a problem for myself, and I know this is probably a daft thing to put in a review, but it's important that I can hoover the seat and things like that, and, and everything just wipes off. It's fantastic on that front, it is really good. So on the seat front, it's got harness holes if you ever want to put racing harnesses in. Uh, I've taken mine off for this review, but I do have a set of harnesses which I use for myself, uh, which I need, which is fantastic. So again, the logos, I like that. Some people might not, but I love having logos in. It's very neatly done. I think it's quite tasteful. You've got the nice TR here, and then you've got the trap racer there. Love that, and they've, they've tied it in with a red stitching. Can't fault that. Right, guys, moving on to the gear stick. Uh, again, another huge positive for myself. I need a shifter. Uh, I just use one all the time, and I absolutely love it. It works perfectly for myself. Uh, the only little small point I could say about it is, it would be nice to see a little bit more adjustable, maybe sliding it forward and backwards or something along them lines but again you know I can drive I can shift the shifter mounts solid uh, you can mount this shifter on the other side as well so it's further away from you uh, a biggest positive for me with this simulator is the fact that it is fully adjustable you know most things everything on it adjusts the pedals the wheel deck the seat so you will be able to customize it to suit yourself Possibly, yes, it might take a little bit of time to get comfortable, but again, I think it's perfect. You know, the fact that a six foot person can get in and then a four, you know, a five foot person can get in and get comfortable. I think that's really important. Uh, while we're sitting here, I will show you. So that's the seat slider, as you can see. So it's very, very smooth. It's lockable, you know, and obviously you can see the seat and position I've got myself set up for. Uh, again, it needs to be adjustable for myself because I change the wheel rims a lot. Uh, so, you know, it needs to be. I need to be able to get it comfortable for myself. So, yeah, I'm. I'm just really happy with the fact that I can get a seat position for me. But if you, if you're watching this back and you think, oh, that doesn't look comfortable, you can lower the seat. You can tilt it. You can move the pedals up and down. You want them GT. You want them, you know, it, it just, you can suit it for every person. Another big positive for this rig is the pedal plate. I don't know if you can see, but there's a slight bit of overhang at the back of the pedal plate. And I assumed on looking at photographs of the simulator that that would cause some flex. But I'll stand on this now. And as you can see... <laughs> There isn't any flex. I mean, the only flex that you get is out out of the bolts in the uh, in the actual pedals bolted to the platform. But there's no movement in the actual platform. So as you can see, you just get nothing. I mean, you can jump, you can bang. You know, it's just as you can see, I've got a little bit of movement on my pedals, but that's just my pedals. That's nothing to do with the, with the simulator itself. So when I put the Fanatic ones on, you get no movement at all. Uh, which is fantastic. Right, another thing that I got with the track racer while we're here is I got the keyboard tray uh, and the mouse tray. I never thought you would ever want one. However, I wouldn't have the simulator now without it. It's so easy to use, as you can see here. So this is adjustable by these two points. You've got the keyboard tray, which is adjustable as well. You can tilt it. I've got it set up to suit myself, so I can still so, you know, so I can still use the shifter and everything. Uh, obviously, it does move, as you can see. Uh, I've also got, if we pull that out a little bit, I've got my button box, which we just got put in here today. Uh, 
I don't know if you can see there, sorry, there we go. So you can see this band. So I've got the button box actually made to suit this frame. So again, for customization in the future for people, yeah, you definitely can run a button box. And as I say, I run the button box on here. And, uh, and again, you know, it all works perfectly fine. And as you can see, it's a multi arm. So this arm moves up and down. That moves in and out. That one moves up and down. The back one moves in and out. So you can literally set it up however you want. But I think as you're sitting in it to game, as you can see there on the rig, I think it suits the, the simulator itself really, really well. So guys, we're going to move on to our final thoughts. Uh, again, I know you're probably thinking, oh, he hasn't said much bad about it, but there really isn't an awful lot of bad things to say because it is just very, very good. Uh, only other thing I'd like to point out, the, the coating on the frame, it's like a matte black. Love that. It doesn't really scratch. I haven't noticed anywhere haven't noticed any marks on it or anything like that. I have moved it uh, a few times. I've had to disassemble it, put it back together again. Uh, and I'm going to run through a couple of the positives uh, just off the top of my head. One of the huge positives for me is it's movable. I come from a DIY simulator, uh, so I made it from wood. It wasn't movable, you know, it round on the floor. If I had to move it, I had to get two or three people to lift it with me. This one, I can slide it around. It's got rubber feet on it for hardwood floor, which I think is a huge positive. Uh, the the other good thing about it I like is just the, the adjustability is phenomenal. For someone, I came from somewhere where I couldn't move my wheel. If I had to move my wheel, I had to unscrew, screw back in. And you just get an Allen key out and you just adjust things. It's so easy. It's fantastic. You know, if you're going from a GT car to a road car, it's not that hard to just sit your pedals down a bit. You know, it's, it's just so easy. Uh, another thing, the wheel mount and the pedal mount are drilled for, as far as I know, most of the steam wheels out there and the pedals. I, I've used Thrustmaster pedals on here. I've used Fnatic pedals on here. I've also used Logitech pedals. So I know it fits well. The wheel deck, again, I used to run a T500 on here, and then I moved on to the Thrustmaster TX wheel. It runs fine, absolutely fine, bolts straight in, not a problem. Uh, another big positive for me is this seat. Uh, I was slightly worried about this seat, you know, but from the comfortability point of view, just because I had read a couple of reviews, however, on, uh, on the previous rig, I, I should say, well, I just can't fault it. I've spent a lot of time in it. Uh, I've come, I come from using a quite an expensive seat in my old rig, uh, so this compares to that fairly well. Uh, I like the fact that the pads in it and that the bolster pads are really, really good. The only thing I would say on the seat is I don't know how well to a, a thicker set person it would fit, but again, I can't speak from that experience because it fits me so well. Uh, so I like that point of view. The the single arm on it makes it so easy. I struggle to get in and out of things sometimes. Uh, you know, so the single arm, the open arm is just fantastic. I love that. That left hand side of my simulator is always open and I can get in and out very, very easily. The keyboard tray keeps everything at the right hand side of my rig or if you like to drive with everything on the left, everything fits on the left. The shifter mount is reversible, you can move the shifter over on the left hand side, which is perfect. So, other than the slight wheel problem I had, where I, after I was using it for an hour or so, it would slowly lower itself. But again, I contacted Trap Racer, they sorted the problem straight away. So I can't fault them on that, they seem to want to just progress all the time, which is fantastic. So, other than that, there's not a lot left to stay. I personally think it's worth the money that it's set. I looked at a few different simulators. I looked, uh, so at the price range the track racer is in, I think it's perfectly worth it. I think more than worth it if, if you ask me personally. Uh, I think value for money is fantastic. The steel that it's built out of is just so robust. It's just, fun. it's so well made. Uh, the other rigs I've seen at the same sort of price point I don't know how strong they would be compared to this thing. Uh, it definitely seems higher up there. This rig 
it just the quality of it's phenomenal. Any sim racer out there or whatever you're into, uh, you know, I play a lot of farming. So anyone who's wanting more of a proper seating position is perfect. Honestly, I, I honestly can't fault it on that front. So we're going to end it there. The only thing I would like to say is if you are looking for a track racer simulator, there is a discount code for 5% off, which track racer has kindly uh, given me. So there's a discount code in the description for 5% off. Also a huge shout out to Track Racer for letting me review the rig and uh, you know I've been pleasantly surprised. A few of the problems I thought the rig might have, I was so wrong. thought the pedals would be a bit uh, flexy, no flex in them at all. So I just, you know, I'm really, really happy. This is my full time simulator, which I'll be using 8 to 10 hours a day, every day for the next 5 to 10 years. So I'll put it to its paces and all I can say is it looks like it's going to hold up. So thanks again for tuning into the review. If you have any questions, please contact myself or any questions, contact Trap Racer and please go over and check out the Trap Racer website. You'll be pleasantly surprised with the stuff that they, you know, the stuff that they make. The stuff's fantastic. And uh, again, thanks again. We'll be back with the Trap Racer triple stand review uh, once, once I've put a bit more use into it. I want to get the three screens on it and check that out. Uh, and we'll be back with a review on that. So thanks again guys. Stay safe and see you guys soon.